Okay. This now, coach. Let me. Let me see. This is now the uh, the toss crack to the two wide receiver surface. Yep. As we talked about before, I, I told you I had a play that would have been really really clean had the tackle blocked the force defender. Yeah. Now, this is coach holding the whistle, right? Guys got to get down, guys got to finish, go run, 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 right. run. Go finish, go finish, go finish, go finish. Yep. All right, same thing. Okay, and I, it's not a great camera angle because you're missing a little bit over here. I'm going to motion somebody in, okay, versus the four-eye technique now. The guard's going to reach. The receiver, tight end, be motion in. He's going to work inside. He's going to be the... Crack block, right? The receiver on the ball, he's the seal. Tackle is now going to pull to the corner. We're going to full zone this thing on the backside. The 74 should be blocked. Yep, corner. The corner. Not the deep safety. The thing I love is he, he at least goes full speed yep. and doesn't stop. I'd love to see him block 14. Watch that sweep action. Yes. Here, here is the, you line them up in bunch, and you get your, your inside man of the bunch, you get some jet sweep action. Okay? Bring them to the call, bring them back, start them here, bring them back. However you have to do it, we, we put a little sugar on this, you know, Pre-practice-wise, when we when we walk through this, is this was getting to be a bit of a tendency in spring ball down in the red zone. Hey, when we line up in this, when we line up in this bunch look. We like to run this play because you know I think we have two pretty good tackles, and plus it was on the install. In it, you know, day six and seven to install the toss crack screen uh, schemes. So you put a little sugar on it, it looks pretty good. I'll show you it from the rear. Now the one thing we will do, hey, this guy's a four-eye, the guard is now going to reach him. Right. Right? The, the one block is the crack, the two block is the seal, the tackle is going to pull, and we'll full zone this on the back side. So no jab set by the back here, right? He's going right now. Yeah, he's going, trying to stay as flat as he can for as long as he can. Now, go make a move. Now, another guy who was a receiver, they got moved the tail back yeah. the way through spring ball. Looking at the center right here, he doesn't have to, he's hopping. Yes. Right? Dorothy, you're not in Kansas. Yeah. Right, there's no reason to click the heels. Go full zone this, go take a step, bring the backside, bring your backside shoulder, bring your backside foot, rip through the nose guard, give the backside guard some surface, center, rip through, and go get a hat on the Mike linebacker. Who so if you were going to block it the way you'd adjust to it now, it would be a trio call. It would be. Right. It would be. Let's go. Well, I'm sorry, no. Versus odd, this would be... Here we either make a toe call, we do something to alert these three. Hey, we're full zoning. Okay. Three most dangerous of one, two, three, and four. See the nose guard, one, two, three, four, for one, two, three. We gotta go. Go okay. run, go get that, go get that block. I like I like the fact the backside tackle's running. Yeah, he sort of trips, but he takes somebody with him. Yep. I like to see the backside guard fix his head, fix his head. And really love to see the center not click his heels together and drive through contact rather than be really mushy, if that's a word. <laughs> All right, we'll see it here. You can, you can probably see the center's feet a little bit better here. Yeah, so so I'm not, not a fan of the, not a fan of the yeah. footwork. Not a fan of the guard leading with his head. Try to get your head out. Don't put your head in there. Right, Matt. He feels more comfortable opening that play side foot rather than pull like Ryan, who, who will do a little bit more skip bullish. Right. But the whole thing, hey, go finish, go run through somebody. 
And you will work with both of those techniques, right? With the comp. Yeah. Okay. yeah. I would. Like I said, ultimately, however they feel the most comfortable, I'm not going to put a mandate on it. Right. This is how you have to pull. I think that's hard, but let's really work with these guys in terms of how they're how they feel more comfortable. Now this was a live situation. That's yeah. why you see Matt cutting. And this was something where, hey, next time we run, next time we run this play, I want to see you go cut somebody. And this is really the first time we've we've been able to cut all spring. Okay. You know we don't we you know during spring ball we don't cut our own defenders in line. But here, okay, four eye technique, go reach them. Now we got to full zone this thing on the backside. Okay, he's here, he's here. You know the center and backside guard. We don't get anybody up to the Mike yes. linebacker. Now you got issues. Not a great job. I don't know why he's trying to hang on this. There's no, there's no sense. And when you don't step, when you don't gain a little ground, or drop step and be able to grip that backside arm, you end up being behind the block. Not great footwork. Like I said, eight, eight's brand new at this position. He was normally, he, he was a wide receiver when we yep. opened spring. But the one thing you'll see with Aaron. Is he, he's at least trying to finish and trying to push and trying to pester and trying to be in the camera. Here's another thing, okay, we, we worked the reach block. Yeah. Probably a little too wide on the first step and you want to try to eliminate some of the crossover. The one thing Brian does a good job of is he resets his backside hand. Yeah. He's able to get his hand place side and now he gets a backside hand to the sternum yeah. and he just runs. Really nice job. All right, just push and pester him. You know, who, who's got the last touch? Right. Try to irritate him. Same thing, a little fake jet sweep motion. Now, here's the whole thing I think we need to do a better job of, coaches. You got to recognize when you're getting cross dog. You got to recognize when you're getting, you know, one of these single linebacker dogs play side. Fellas, hey, communicate. We talked about this. You make a call. Come off the ball. If you're going to reach the four eye, go reach them center. If you see this, you've got to make your your call for us will be toe. Okay, whatever you want. Go get him. Go get him cut off. Not a bad job. Still don't like the extreme crossover and how wide his base is. I think he's got to do a better job with the center position of narrowing his base. And if he thinks he's, you know, he's got to move that right foot, how much force can he apply in the ground with that left foot and, and press through with his big toe and, and, and push into the ground to allow himself to step, pivot that backside knee and run off the football. So three-man surface, number three receiver box the corner, two-man surface the tackle box the corner. Yes, sir. Okay. Now here... How does a tackle okay. know that? He just hears it in the call? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Now here I think Aaron's got to do a better job of, he doesn't have to go stick his face in right. and block a four-eye, right? You go right here, head up to inside, head up to inside. So these two, eight would block, I can't see his number, and I apologize, mm -hmm. the linebacker off the ball. Two, you've got the linebacker on the ball. Matt, you're going to pull, you've got the first thing that shows outside, which he does a good job. That's a big body running at you. Yep. Okay, now if you get to this position, okay, you'd love to see him keep leverage on this and keep his head play side, but now he's behind it, okay, we'll just drive the defender to the sideline. Yep. Just keep running. Just run, 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 run. And when you get about, right, right over by the hash mark, or excuse me, the yard lines on the sideline, just shove it. See if you can dunk him in the Gatorade. Yep. Okay, here, Brian, just don't lose leverage. Don't lose leverage on this. Stanley, keep working. That shouldn't happen. That's a hell of a play by the linebacker. That's yeah, good job. Good. good effort. All 
my two by two. Same thing. This this was a, a clip in the spring game. This is this is something that we harped on with the finish. Right? You never you never know which one of your blocks is going to affect the play. So keep working, keep working, keep working, keep working, keep working, keep working. Yeah. Right now, same thing when we talked about prep, we'll, we'll get to the point with the four eye. Hey, we'll reach him. If he spikes all the way down the A gap, we'll let him go and we'll just keep climbing up the yep. field. Better job here. Better job on the back side of the tackle. Okay, color disappears. Hey, you just keep running. Go pick a spot on the opposite side of the center and just keep running. Now, Coach, rewind that. Yes, sir. I'm looking at um, the slot, the crack here. Now, he should be working to the play side outside backer now, right? Once that four eye spikes inside. Yes. Okay. Yes, that's what he has to do. Well, I'm sorry, Coach. He's down inside. He's down inside. Yeah, we, we, he misses. Yeah. He misses. But like, uh, uh, is, are, you, are we teaching that kid that once that four eye inside movement, his eyes now go to the inside linebacker? Well, with the yeah, with the four eye now, what we're doing. I know you're trying to reach him now, but right. in this picture, what we were doing here, yeah, he he was stepping. If if the four eye disappeared, he was, he was going to continue to the inside linebacker. Because he's unblocked here a little bit. He is unblocked. Yeah. It's crazy how sometimes your best run is a guy point of attack on block in the back. <laughs> yeah. Like BYOB, right? Be yeah. your own blocker. Yeah, blocker. And I'm standing on the sidelines and I'm, I think this was in the middle of a Hail Mary, or I think my second our father. <laughs> okay, something's happening. Oh, God. You know, I've it's already, a move converting this kid. He runs hard. Yeah, I already, already chewed through an entire pack of gum. But yeah, no, he does. He, he he does work hard, and the fact that guys are working towards the end, they're actually getting juiced up when stuff like this happens. Yeah. I'm fine. You know, it just fires me up. Not a great celebration. No, you gotta Not, work on. Like really have a plan when we <laughs> celebrate, right? He's trying to frog splash some of his buddies. Have a plan. That's yeah. You know, I'm gonna downgrade him on celebration, man. That, that's a that's a fine poor celebration. But I love the hustle, love the hustle. I love how these guys are working, right? Get downfield, stay in the camera, and keep working, keep working, keep working. So, I like that. Now this, Coach, these are the ones, and I'll show how to do the uh, sideline first. This is the, the two by two and three by one plays where the tight end is in line. Now this is a down block with the with the guard and or the tackle pulling. Yeah. This is a true toss crack. Now I see the tag this, up top. I know what you're on there. Okay. This is like your down and pulls. Yeah. Right. Some people call them the gopher play because Minnesota ran the hell out of it. Yep. Yeah. Back in the day. Um, so now you got the read element in yeah, there. Yeah, we, we've got a little read element with this, which is nice. You know, it's nice to have a, a, a quarterback that can run a little bit. You know, like I said, more of a compliment run for us this spring. You know, I'm really trying to work out some of the kinks yep. to this play. What, what we're looking to do is ideally would be down, pull, pull, get two on the perimeter. Okay, Matt sees the fact that we're getting some type of field pressure. All right, so he is basically going to block the B gap. He blocks the B gap. TD blocks the C gap. Brian's going to pull. And now I'd love to see the backside either full zone this to handle it or have the center block and let the backside guard pull, which is basically what we're trying to do. I don't like how the center's blocking. I mean, the whole thing gets gets jammed up, but with the read element, two in the same gap, they got they've got issues. Yep. So, like I in in 
some of the pin and pull plays, especially this one, it's not great versus immediate pressure. You'd almost like to just turn this right in the outside zone and not even pull guys, Correct. in my opinion. Right, but that the buck 25 gets you USA <laughs> Today. Right, don't. Come on. Strike. Yeah. Strike. Do a better job. Right, you get what you emphasize. We're, we're going to emphasize these plays more. So hopefully here next year it'll be it'll be a little bit better when we when we turn on the, uh, the cutups. Same thing, the down and pull play. I like the fact that running backs Pearson the defense. Okay, this is this is actually with our second team guys. Right, this is a fine, there's a tight end in line, you should be in a three point stance. Yep. Second and seven. I'm right, gonna take away your video game privileges. <laughs> Okay, you're going to block down, we're going to Ted this, block down, you're going to pull. Okay, Big Rob, you're pulling, let's full zone this on the back side. Or center, if, if you can't handle this nose guard, let's do a great job of cutting the front. Make your call to bring the guard down so now maybe you can pull. Got it. I think this is a pretty good job of striking. Hat through the V of the neck by 90. Yep. Good job fitting the hands. It's pretty good. Just like to see the tackle yep. get around this, be a little bit cleaner. Right, the linebacker tries to now peel off. Let's do a great job of striking and moving our feet. And maybe the guard can even adjust. Those are two big boys running. Yep. Now the halfback's just going to do what he's on scholarship to do. More of a three by one play for us. Mm -hmm. Okay. Here is it versus an odd front. Okay. Tight ends down, tackle's gonna pull, guard's gonna pull. Okay, the, the center, about time he made he made the call to bring the backside, let the backside guard pull. So we, we're down, tackle's gonna pull, okay, guard's gonna pull, backside guard's gonna pull. The whole thing, if, for whatever reason, if the tackle goes to the wrong guy, it sort of screws up our point, our count. Matt should be out here. Okay. Who's the point? Ryan. That? Yeah. The point. The point is, is right here. Right. He's going to be first pass. He should be on the point. Backside guard. And he's fighting like hell. He gets there eventually, but yeah. the ball's on the ground. Backside tackles hustling. The center, I'd love to see him be a little bit more forceful and, you know, that one word is finish. I'm not a huge fan of the feet. Yep. Just finish, 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 finish. Okay. Now, here's the quarterback read element off of it. Or, excuse me. It's quarterback. 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 Yeah. Yeah, you may want to cover these up. Yeah, it's not even on the... Because uh, some of the tags are wrong. Okay. The camera's lower, actually. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Here it is. Uh, we we talked to these guys. Okay, they're going to bring inside linebacker pressure. They're going to run the inside saw dog. Hey, block the B-gap. Tyler, tight end, you're going to block the C-gap. Brian, you're going to pull for the first thing that shows. Center, lock the nose, horn the backside guard around. Tackle, do a great job and collect any trash in the beat gap. So now why is the backs why why is there a horn call here? Well here, to be honest with you in this picture, coach, it looks to me like the center's got his head down and doesn't see that we're getting backside pressure. With the pressure, I wouldn't want right. to ideally pull this guy because I think you're gonna really open up that A to B gap for this linebacker to run through. Probably not ideal. My guess is head down, not paying attention, probably tired. Is there a main guiding principle on when that backside guard pulls and when he does not? Ideally, I wouldn't. I wouldn't want to pull him versus pressure. If it's a base look, there's, it's either too high or one high, and it's a non-pressure situation. Okay, with a zero nose, with the odd front, I wouldn't mind with a, 
a double garden bubble if he pulls. Okay. Versus pressure, I think you're asking for an issue. Tight end's got to do a better job here of establishing, coming down and blocking. Now he feels the defender reverse leverage, go flip the leverage on him yep. and finish and try to drive him to the sideline. Okay. Same thing. Starter got, got injured during spring. Got one of the backup guys in, right? Don't freeze, Jay. You got it. You you still got to prepare like you're a starter, buddy. That yeah. can't happen. Yeah. The indecision, right? That's one thing that we talked about with the play is being able to react in space and being able to react on the move. Now we'll, we'll, we'll tag this down block. Okay, he's gonna block the end. Be great if he was a little wider. Maybe we get a through call. Yeah. Bring the tight end through. Just let the guard kick out the end, probably what you want to do here. But we, the call was that there was, there was nothing made by the tight end to alert the tackle and or guard what was happening. So they're just blocking the base and the guard's going. Really like to see the center make a decision. Like I said, rookie center, never played the position. Hey, guys, either go through or pull. Right. Right, full zone this on the back side. You can't ask for a better picture. But Except put that on there to see, okay, hey, you either get, you either have to skinny through and get him blocked, run through the heels of the down lineman and get him blocked about where this red dot is, or pull and then try to meet him over here and get him blocked. Now, if he's plus, coach. Yes, sir. And now, if that three technique is tighter, yep. anticipating an inside A-gap spike, now the did whatever terminology you want to use, now the center probably should get out. Yes, I would okay. say you want you want to get him pulling. Right. Okay, especially, coach, like you just mentioned, real heavy three technique. There's probably going to be some trash in the A and B gaps. He may not be able to get through it. So let's pull and get around it. Okay. See? One thing that we were talking, get the last touch. Just So what does that mean? Just what I want what I want my guys doing is at the end of the play, you're looking to finish. Yeah, if there's a defender around, go slap him. I got you. Just to irritate him. <laughs> Just to irritate him. I had a center of Maine who used to go pull guys' mouthpieces out of their mouths. Yeah. Just just purely to irritate. Go run, go finish, go finish, go finish, go finish. Okay? There's some of the backups. Okay, we've got we got a, a little cross dog action, a little cross dog week. These guys got to know this. This should really turn into a full zone on the backside. Right. Not have big boy at right guard pulling. Go through it, full zone this, get this cut off right here in the backfield. Because the whole thing is, you know, one guy messes up. One guy messes up on offense, you can wreck the play. You know, it's like if a part of your engine doesn't work, the car's not moving. Yeah. One guy messes up on defense, it's like there's a small scratch in the hood. You can get that buffed out. Right? The car's probably going to run, or maybe there's a slight grip in the fabric, or you, you spilled your mocha latte on the, you know, on the floor, and there's a little stain. It'll still, the car will still run if one guy messes up on defense, but offensively that can't happen. Everybody's got to be hitting on yep. the same cylinders. So full zone that thing on the back side. Tight end block down, tackle, pull, guard. You can either skate through or pull. Okay, not a bad job with the tackle in space. Just love to see him finish. Yeah. That guard's not getting to that linebacker either. I mean, I know he's trying to. You see how plus he is. Coach, there's no question. I'm not going to say that these guys knew what the install was for the defense, but they didn't go into practice not knowing either. Right. So an adjustment could be to get him out. Exactly. Yeah. The adjustment here, pull him, 
let, let the backside full zone yes. this so, so that there's no leakage or no penetration, just to try to prevent your running back from any type of negative yard. Yeah. Just three by one, really. So it looks like it's some type of three buzz coverage, yep. or some type of you know one funnel. What do they bring? Oh, they're bringing cross dog. Sweet. They're bringing cross dog week, and we get it picked up, which is good. Right, they're taking some semblance of coaching. Hmm. Right, pick your feet up. Right now, the guard is trying to power bomb the running back after the play. Pretty good. All right, cross dog, full zone this thing on the backside. All right, you know if you're getting cross dog weak, this nose is probably working away. Center, do a great job with your steps, yeah. locking the backside hand and really sinking and ripping that backside arm and trying to catch your shoulder and not letting them not letting them cross your face. Pretty good job. Yeah, not the bad. Center. Right? We don't hold, we clutch. I've never been called for a clutching penalty in a game. Tight end, you block down, tackle, you pull, guard, you pull, get out on the edge, right, and go run. It also helps when the defense runs away from two of the yeah. bigger guys in your offensive line. I mean, he's got nine yards before anyone touches him. Yeah. Keep running, keep running, keep running. Now we got the power bomb. <laughs> Kids having fun, man. Which I want to say this may be, may have the RPO off of it. Yeah. Yeah, he doesn't he doesn't throw it. Same thing. We're getting some type of cross dog week. You know, this is just us not finishing on the backside, and you'll see it when we when we watch it from the end zone. All right, center's trying to clear the front. Three down. Communicating now. Right, he's not in his home position. He normally doesn't line up there. Is the nickel, okay? Eddie Hahn, Jersey's finest. Right, he's creeping. You know you're getting some type of cross dog. Hey, let's go, go. Get on your horse and run. Pretty good job by the center. Just like to see him fix his feet a little bit. Down block by the tight end. You get these two big boys out on the perimeter. And essentially, it's like we just talked about. When the defense messes up, they may have a shot at still being okay when the offense, yeah. right? When you when you mess up, yeah. you're in trouble. Now the nice thing, it's still it's not a negative yardage play, but we left some yards out there on this play. Yeah. These guys got to be able to have their heads up and notice. And this is where a call from the right side. Hey fellas, we're getting some type of pressure here. No, you you guys got to know what's happening. Maybe the defense is is. You know, slanting, slanting or angling. You know, hey, know something's happening. It's just get your eyes up and be a football player. Because you're, you're literally a block away. All right, same thing, 3-3. Three, three. Down block, pull. Oh, wait. This is, I, I remember this one. This goes back to communication. Mm -hmm. This is quarterback called to play in the huddle, and it didn't register with the left side what was going on. Supposedly, it never got there yeah. at the line of scrimmage. And we essentially blocked a zone mm -hmm. pull play like full zone. Right, because the guard thinks the center's locking on the nose. So the biggest thing is communication. So. That's it. That's all I had for it, Coach. You want, you want any more? No.